Number 74. Substance B is hard, does not conduct electricity, and melts at 1200 degrees Celsius. Substance B is likely an multiple choice question. Okay, so is substance B going to be an ionic solid, metallic, molecular solid, or a covalent network solid? And we only have three pieces of information, that this substance is hard, it does not conduct electricity, and it melts at 1200 degrees Celsius. Now, I have down here your four different types of crystalline solids, so ionic, metallic, covalent, network, and molecular, and their physical properties. So we just have to basically know which properties go with which solid. Now, the first thing that I'd like to go through is the electricity, because that can probably cancel out 50% of the answers. Now, this case, substance B does not conduct electricity. And if we run through the properties, ionic uh, solids will only conduct electricity as a liquid, but not as a solid. So it still would conduct electricity, but only if it's in a liquid. This substance, however, is a hard no, does not conduct electricity. So ionic's got to be out. Metallic substances are the ones that conduct electricity very well. It conducts heat and electricity very, 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 very well. This one, on the, on the other hand, does not conduct electricity. So you could automatically get rid of 50% of your answer choices. But if you look at covalent network and molecular, these both uh, are non-conductive, meaning that they do not conduct electricity. So we're down to molecular or covalent. Now in this case, they told us that this substance was a hard substance and it roughly has a high melting point. I mean, 1,200 degrees Celsius, that's, that's pretty high when we think of room temperature being 25 degrees Celsius. So this is a high temperature. The main difference between covalent network and molecular is their melting points. Covalent networks will have very high melting points where the molecular ones will have pretty low ones where you'll probably see the numbers of like 100, 90 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius. But once you start getting up into those thousands, you're going to have a very high melting point. And this said that this substance was hard. Covalent networks are very hard. A covalent network, uh, one example of a covalent network is diamond, right? And diamond has, you know, no, nothing can scratch a diamond. So it's very hard. So in this case, substance B would be D, a covalent network solid. And that is the final answer here. Whoop, whoop. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for coming to the channel to get help with your chemistry, you know, needs. We also have physics and math videos on the channel. So go check it out. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.